Hello and welcome to an unboxing that is through a press that didn't actually publish the book. Uh, this is a Dark Regions Press unboxing of an SST Publications book. If you didn't know by the title of the video, this is Survivor Song by Paul Tremblay. Gotta say it the Jeff Terry way, or else did you really say his name if you didn't say it that way. So, this... I bought through Dark Regions Press. Um, kind of kills me to buy through them. Not that I, I, I love Dark Regions Press. I love supporting them. Um, but it kills me to buy other publishers' books that aren't through the actual publisher. Like, for example, I don't get a fun little note from uh, Paul over at SST, which he throws in all his packaging. But however, on the other side... Dark Regions press packaging is always fun to unbox and unwrap because there's so many layers. Seriously. There's the paper. And then here is this swaddled package of bubble wrap. Layers and layers deep. I have never received, I believe I said this before, I've never received a book from Dark Regions press that has been damaged. Apart from like paperbacks that they don't actually ship. Those come, some of the paperbacks, uh, their older titles are kind of print on demand. So they come from, you know, of a warehouse prints them, I guess. I don't know. So those ones sometimes come ding and damaged because they, they just throw those in a manila envelope. But anyways, uh, Dark Regions Press always packages the hell out of their books. Like if you're ever low on if you're ever low on bubble wrap and you're like, I want a book and a lifetime supply of bubble wrap, then you should look no further than DRP or darkregionspress.com per their bookmark. Thanks for the bookmark guys. Got a lot of those. But I like bookmarks, so never have too many of them. And here must be where the SST packaging begins because the bubble wrap is significantly different than the previous bubble wrap. And then you have the SST uh, packaging, a little wax kind of paper. Oh my God. See, I feel bad for Paul because I don't, I don't buy as much through him. I mean, I, I have. I've had, I bought plenty through him. Uh, usually some Lansdale titles. Unfortunately, when they're on sale because uh, I'm poor. But... Um, yeah, these ones, the Paul Tremblay books, I was going to buy through SST, but then Dark Regions had this really awesome deal. It was like a grab bag that came with the first two titles with it. So I jumped on that. So, put the paper over there. This is Survivor Song by Paul Tremblay. Beautiful artwork by Daniel Sarah. Oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Uh, Sarah actually has an art book that they just released as well. That, uh, they being SST. It's a little striking image of Paul there. Uh, so, Paul, not that Paul, uh, just released an art book by Sarah. Uh, the lettered edition is signed by Clive Barker, which is awesome, who did the introduction. Beautiful cloth-bound edition. Excellent quality, as to be expected with SST. I'm curious to see what number I got. Uh, I actually have two numbers. Now I have three. So there's the uh, number. I have 361, Paul Tremblay. Beautiful artwork. Oh, I like the little color in his name there. There's little illustrations. Whoa! Whoa! Little illustrations throughout. All some stylistic choices. I like it. I have not read this one yet. Oh, look at that, with the texts and the different colors. It will be a good read, though. It will be an excellent read. Uh, I figured, you've probably already seen them, but while I have this one, might as well show you the other ones, because I, I didn't ever got to show you them on camera before. These are the other three. Um, I say three, but they're actually four. I don't have growing things, unfortunately. I... Uh, I didn't get a chance to buy it through Dark Regions. And I believe it's sold out now through SST, which is just a complete bummer. I'll have to pick it up on the secondary market at some point. Eventually. One day. 
So here is the cabin at the end of the world. Uh, these ones all also came from, I purchased these also from, I, oh my God. I also purchased these through Dark Regions Press. Once again, Sarah's artwork throughout all of the dust jackets. Beautiful cloth bound editions. I did not get matching numbers though through Dark Regions Press. See, this is 351. This, I actually have this number for two of the books which uh, is that one and maybe a head full of ghosts, which is my favorite of the artwork. Oh, my God, look at that. Uh, once again, just astounding wraparound artwork. Daniel Sarah. Uh, head full of ghosts, which was the one that really got me hooked on Paul Tremblay novels, his horror novels. There's 351 matching cabin at the end of the world. Uh, the funny thing is I had purchased as part of the grab bag, uh, it came with two books, it came with A Head Full of Ghosts and Disappearance at Devil's Rock. So if there were two that were going to match, I would think it'd be those two. Um, Disappearance at Devil's Rock, beautiful artwork once again. Nice little cloth bound. There it is. God, I love the look of these books. Uh, so I bought these ones together through Dark Reasons Press. Did not get matching numbers. 358. Right there. A little bummed by that, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm not terribly uh, concerned about matching numbers. It's really nice when they do match. Um, but it's not going to ruin my day if they don't. It's just, you know, it's a nice little detail. An added detail. I believe all four of these are sold out. If they're not, they're close to selling out. I know several of the titles have been sold out, uh, particularly Head Full of Ghosts. That one sold out very quickly. And uh, But there's plenty of editions, you know. If you, and that one's hard to find, but then you can try to also find the Graveyard Edition, the Cemetery Dance Dead. Nice little leather-bound tome. That is also a beautiful edition. Uh, that one's kind of got an Easton Press kind of aesthetic to it. Uh, matches their other graveyard editions, but I, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I've got a matching set for that. Oh, I actually, no, I don't. One of the books doesn't match for that. That kind of bums me out. But the rest all match. Uh, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's not like it's like uh, Jeff Terry, whose channel you should definitely check out. He does these. He's probably already seen these through his channel. Uh, he has all of them, including Growing Things. Um, he has a matching number, and for him, his matching number is number three, which, I mean, you can never give that away. That's such a, it's a low number. It's an awesome number. You're going to have to match that for the rest of your life. Whereas this, it's like 351, you know, it's, it doesn't bug, bug me too much that they don't match. It'd be nice if they did, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So yeah, uh, there's four gorgeous Paul Tremblay titles uh, through SST allocations. Uh, some of them are still available. Through various retailers, I believe, including Dark Regions Press, they might still have editions available. Um, but I'll take a look before uploading this, see what might still be available from this selection, um, possibly also including growing things. Uh, so, sure, check them out. Definitely check out SST, um, sstpublications.co.uk, I believe. Uh, they have Paul does aston astonishing work. He, uh, he's over in the UK, so you'll be paying some import prices for the shipping, especially after Brexit. Uh, the, you know, cost of postage has gone up, but he puts a nice little note with it. It's excellent customer service. Uh, check out fans of SST over on Facebook. We're a very fun group, and we're growing. Um, SST is also doing some Josh Mallerman titles and some Grady Hendrix titles, which are going to be incredible. Seriously, go check them out. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you very much, uh, Paul. Thank you, Dark Regions Press. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.